Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode. We are playing this first exploration of the week and uh, we're playing Space Marines against Chaos. And we get some pretty good prizes here. Uh, again, because they didn't really give out enough coins when they did the secondary trait update, they're handing out extra coins for this campaign. We got 800 uh, for three times, so a total of 2400 coins. Uh, the modifiers for this campaign, we got the even playing field where everything is set to the new max levels. And then, so, so that means all of your epics and legendaries will have their secondary traits fully unlocked. We also get uh, an additional 26 points for a total of 225 points available. And yeah, uh, the, the mission reward is actually a brand new card. The Deathwing Terminator with Big Game Hunter. And these are his stats at max level. So, we've got a few different options here. Uh, I am trying to unlock the mission rewards, so I'm using as many keywords as possible. Uh, you can see I fit as many epics and legendaries as possible. Now, this is not really the ideal deck. Uh, with Watch Captain Artemis, it does help to have, you know, more bodyguards, so you can make use of his special rule, but his special rule is honestly not that amazing again, uh, in this campaign because the enemies have so many bodyguards. But just looking at uh, the traits here, Watch Captain Artemis improved pretty vastly because he got dead shot for his secondary trait. So now he can target the Warlord with all of your guys when he deploys. That's pretty huge. Uh, as for these other guys, we've got uh, Corsar Khan, pretty cheap. He's got Big Game Hunter and now Target Acquired. Got Master Lazarus with Furious Charge and Regeneration. Uh, Uriel Ventris has got Furious Charge in addition to Big Game Hunter now. This guy is a personal favorite of mine. Inspiring Presence and now Melee Scout, so you can Hit him with a really big attack when he deploys. Uh, this chaplain has Furious Charge. A lot of Furious Charge around here, if, as you can see. In addition to Fear. And then a Kaivan Shrike got a target acquired in addition to Outflank. So, uh, I, and I have two just a common cards, which of course only have one trait. Uh, the healer, of course, is quite useful still. Um, so, honestly, this deck is not really that fun to play, though. So, um... For just for this match, we're up against, uh, we're doing a boss level. So I think I, I might uh, switch to a different uh, Warlord. Logan is really fun. And I actually noticed, looking through the Space Marine collection, that um, most of the epics and legendaries actually have m melee as their main attack. Either melee or psychic. They're, they're very few ranged units that are epic or legendary. So for this campaign, I think guys like Logan or like Helbrecht are the best uh, options. Logan is just insane now. Like with after the Omni traits, like look at those stats: 384 health, 50 ranged, 126 uh, melee with you know the full Furious Charge, and he now has Berserk at max level as well. Plus 12 stats every time he takes damage. He is a massive, massive bruiser. And then I got a lot of the same bodyguards as the Artemis deck, uh, almost the exact same actually. And uh, three commons in there. And again, this is just a keyword deck, not the the, the best, and, and not the most fun either, really. But that's what I'm using just for the start of the campaign, to try to get the mission rewards. Uh, one last one I'll show you, Helbrecht, um, who I have not actually tried yet. But Helbrecht got Furious Charge for a secondary trait. Uh, we've got some crazy shield units now. Tor Garadon used to have shield, it was replaced by Big Game Hunter, now he's got both at max level, so uh, he's pretty nuts. Belial is actually good now, because he has shield. And again, the Omni traits are giving them higher stats than they had before. I'm not sure if this guy is that good. Like, his health is really low for his cost, but he's also got uh, two shields because he's an epic. Doesn't have the max level secondary trait, but still quite strong. And I'm, I'm just running this guy in every deck, I guess. So uh, we'll try Helbrecht here and see how this works. Only six bodyguards. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, play this boss level. It's uh, level six, I believe, in this exploration. And it's my first attempt, so we'll see who we're up against. All the Chaos decks in this campaign are uh, thematic, uh, kind of tribal decks. So we've got, you know, Nurgle, Slanesh, Zinch, and Korn. We're up against Abaddon. Okay, so this is the first time uh, I've actually faced him. I guess it'll be Black Legion then. And only seven bodyguards. we got some of the new cultists here. Of course, all the enemies are at max level as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop uh, the big, you know, tanky guy with fear. The chaplain. Ah, this is going to be rough. So this is a um, dual trait. 
cultist here, Holy Magadella. Only got two shields, though. And the shields are going to be blocking 109 damage. That's quite a bit. Uh, very good card for 14 points. But they got the dual uh, Inspiring Presence, I see, which is not really that amazing. Um, let's go ahead and we'll drop a Tor, I think. Tor Garrett on there. See what their final bodyguard here is at the beginning. Okay, Death Blow. Wow. All right. Well, I think we want to reduce the damage on the Death Blow. So we, we will move uh, the Chaplain to the center. And we're just going to deploy all these big guys. I could deploy... Actually, you know, it might have been better to honestly deploy the Medicaid there first. But they get the first turn. They have the initiative. So we'll see what they go for. 105 damage from that Furious Charge. They're going Psychic, just readying up. Debuffing my melee. I think I'm just going to hit him. Actually, no. I was going to say ranged, but we do want to make use of Hellbreck's special rule, so it is going to be kind of painful, but we're going to go melee here. We're going to take a hit from the Death Blow. It's going to knock out two shields, but uh, it will... Uh, the kill there will increase all of my attack stats by 15%. And it's going to be pretty huge on these guys with the Omni trait. So... Yeah, hopefully they don't uh, kill... I mean, this guy has max level fear. Reduces the damage by 50%, but we'll see. Uh-oh. They have a Hell Drake. That thing has Scout now in addition to fear, so... Pretty massive ranged attack, I think, incoming. See how much it does. 118! Whoa! Well, this chaplain's about to die. That escalated very quickly and actually killed the thing with the ranged attack, so... Not looking so great. I'm thinking, yeah. Deploying the Medicaid would have been better choice here. When the chaplain dies, I'm going to lose the, the buff I just got from the, the mark of the exemplar, so that's not great. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep going. Melee. I think we should be okay. Of course, Abaddon is going to be kind of scary once he deploys. So take a look at his stats here. Let's see, Abaddon has got Inspiring Presence in addition to Furious Charge, and crazy stats, as you can see. They're going Psychic. Okay. Does give us a chance to get another attack in. That melee debuff is getting really annoying. But we can knock him out, I think, this turn. Okay, we'll knock two of them out. And, yeah, those two guys will be getting the mark of the exemplar. Increasing their damage by 30%. And I think that chaplain has... He's, he's gonna die. Alright, they got fear. Let's see, Belial... It's gonna get his damage halved, and okay, wow. They got a Forge Fiend. It's very big, but it's rare, so it does not have a secondary trait. Oh, whoa, 192 damage from that Forge Fiend. Doesn't do any extra to Tor, but Tor does deal extra damage to him. Um, let's see. Well, I could go for like a massive attack, but I kind of want to try to save um, Tor over there, because he is a really... Yeah, he, he does a lot of damage, so I'm going to drop down the Medicaid, see if that's enough to actually save him, and we'll go for another melee attack. Let's do this. 132 easily going to kill the Forge Fiend uh, with the big game Hunter. And then that's going to bring out Abaddon this next turn. Got another mark there. Belial just took some damage, but I mean, he's he's doing all right over there. He's inspiring the troops. Halbrecht, of course, has inspiring presence, so... Oh boy. Now, if Abaddon knocks out this Tech Marine, which I think, he, yeah, he's definitely going to do. Okay, that was... That's not good. Big melee attack charged up. Oh, wow. Okay. That was... That was insane. That's a lot of damage. Now, I'm thinking... I made a major misplay. That's the thing. With these dual traits, the game is, like, completely different. It's, um... Yeah, it's, it's pretty nuts. Now, let's look at the stats on these guys now. So, we got... Pretty good melee attack on these guys, but the ranged is huge. Uh, if they go ranged next turn, they will be able to debuff my um, my melee attack as well. So have to be careful there. I lost all of my marks, so my guys are just at the base stats now, which is not great. Um, debating where to drop these guys. I guess this guy can go over here. His shields will block uh, the ranged attack, at least for a little bit. And then we'll just get a Hellbrecht. We are doubling up on... Actually, I think I put too much Inspiring Presence in this deck. That was probably not smart. It's not going to do anything. Let's see. Hellbrecht can deal. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. 125. Okay, that's actually a lot of damage. Wow. 
A lot more than I was expecting there. So I think, yeah, we can we can just go for... Well, no, we do not want to attack, because then Abaddon is just going to kill us with the melee next turn. So we have to actually ready. We have to go for the Psychic option. You have to watch out for that. If you bring your own Warlord into lethal range, the AI will show no mercy. So we're going for the um, ranged attack. But I think, yeah. Oh, that's actually, wow. The Helldrake survives with one health. But we still have enough of uh, attacks charged up that we're, we're good. 70% to the melee, so Hellbrecht can deal 213. That was not a great game, honestly. That was that was pretty bad. I think uh, Watch Captain Artemis and Logan would have been better, honestly. But that was uh, the first run with Hellbrecht there. You, you got to see quite a few dual traits, both on the Space Marine and Chaos side. So, so yeah, it's things are a lot different. But this campaign is, is quite fun. I uh, definitely like playing against the thematic you know, decks, and uh, we can test out a lot of these combos. Um, I have no cards at the you know, new max levels in my collection, so being able to try out all these cards, and Space Marines have a massive roster, so there's like so many different options. Lots of really fun cards uh, looking through here. Um, and at max level, certainly, there's some cards that are just absolutely insane. Like... We got some good psychers, Tigurius here. He's got warp surge, so he'll deal, you know, at least 104 damage on deployment. Got a Mephiston here, who has fear and death blow, which is kind of a weird combo because it's going to take a lot longer for that death blow to actually go off. But still, pretty insane stats. We got Marnius Kalgar, who now has furious charge um, and tons of damage. You can see a lot of these like dreadnoughts and ranged units. Um, do not not only do they not have the keyword but yeah we got lots of rares and commons here so they will not have a, a secondary trait just to show you a few more cards here the library dreadnought's got regeneration now uh, these are epic uh venerable dreadnought actually used to have psychic link it was replaced by precision shot now it's got both and oh yeah caster the dam this guy might be good with Hellbrecht. honestly he's got furious charge uh, along with berserk so so yeah let me know uh, how this campaign is going for you and uh, if you found any fun combos to use. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.